Good evening to all the students preparing for NEET 2023, Sri Chaitanya students and students everywhere in the country. NEET is a very prestigious exam. I'm sure all of you have been working very hard for the past two years to prepare for this exam. I can only imagine the kind of dreams you have and the goals you have for yourself and the dreams your parents have for you as well. And my one um, suggestion to you at this point of time, we are one week away from the NEET 2023 examination. And this one week is extremely important. And I'm very confident by this time, you have prepared very well. Your preparation is complete in terms of subject learning, either it's biology or physics or chemistry. I'm sure you have done the best you can to learn. Now this one week is the time for you to calm yourself, recoup, understand whatever you have learned, try to uh, stabilize yourself. So tomorrow in the exam on the 7th, that three hours is the deciding factor for you. How you deal with the exam, with every question in that three hours will, is what will decide where you go next. So stay calm and in the next week, please sit for two hours this evening and make sure you create a schedule for the next one week. What do you want to do during the morning, afternoon, evening? What subjects, what do you want to focus on? Our recommendation from Sri Chaitanya is stick to your class notes, stick to your short notes, memory cards, and all the mistakes you might have done in your revision exams, part tests and grant tests because that's the best learning you can get. You know, if you don't know a question, it's okay. But if you have made a mistake in a question that you have already learned and made a mistake in, that is not a, that is not a good idea. So I don't want you to regret later why you have missed that question. So stick to the what you have studied, class notes, short notes and all the mistakes you have done. I don't think you have to go far off from that and stick to one or two NCRT areas where you constantly have to remind yourself. So preparation wise, I think you are all set. Now it's time to figure out how do you want to deal with the three hours of exam. Every student preparing for NEET 2023, I'm sure you have taken lots of practice tests. Students in Sri Chaitanya have done hundreds of practice exams, thousands of questions in every single chapter over the period of the past two years. So now the three hours, in the three hours, what is your strategy? What is your exam strategy? And it should be based on your experience in the previous uh, practice tests you have taken. I'm sure you have experimented different methods of taking the exam in the past couple of years. So use that knowledge, use that experience to understand, okay, where do I start? How much time do I allocate to biology? How much time to physics? How much time to chemistry? And do I go by solving all easy questions at once? Or do I go by solving one subject at a time? And it's all left to you. Every student works in a different way. Every brain works in a different way. For some of you, easy questions is the best way to go. For some of you, completing one subject moving forward is the best way to go. So draw from your experience and understand what worked best for you and when were you able to uh, deliver the best total marks in, in NEET. Because the final total is what matters, not the subject-wise marks. And in biology, if you concentrate well and if you read the question properly, if you read the four options properly, and try to remember everything you have learned, I'm, I'm sure you will do very, very well. And same with physics and chemistry. And physics, I'm sure all of you, uh, you know, a lot of you are worried about physics, but please don't. Physics in the last few years has always been a moderate paper. So go to the exam with the thought in mind that yes, the paper will be easy enough for me to do well. And that is our goal. So the once you go with a positive mindset to the examination room, I think everything will fall in place. If the first paper is tough, first subject, whatever comes to you is tough, or if the first two questions are tough, don't take a step back, which means the rest of the paper is relatively very easy. So always remember that and move forward positively and do the best you can, but maintain the accuracy. Don't forget to spend two more seconds on one question instead of and getting it right instead of rushing through the paper and making lots of mistakes. So use your time well. And based on your experiences, I'm sure now you've figured out how much time to allot for each question, how much time to allot for each subject. Use that knowledge. And no one can be a better guide than you to guide you during the examination time. Accuracy is extremely important. And one caution is OMR sheet marking. Every year we come across so many kids who have worked extremely hard, who are very bright and have done everything right. But when it comes to OMR sheets, uh, they mark one or two questions wrong because they are in a rush or sometimes what they do, they, you know, a student goes through four or five pages of uh, questions, solves all the questions, but marks the OMR sheet in a row 
And somewhere in the process, when you leave one question in between, that doesn't get reflected in the OMR sheet. So have the set process to mark the OMR sheet and don't save everything till the end for the marking. So these are just simple techniques and uh, simple caution that we have experienced over the period of time to make sure uh, you can avoid those and come out on top in NEET 2023. And finally, my honest, sincere advice is imagine yourself, imagine that you will be successful. Visualize success and go into the examination hall thinking, I got this, I will do this the best I can and I'll walk out of the examination hall successfully. And that positive mindset and confidence will definitely add several marks to your needs course. Good luck to each and every one of you. I wish only the best and I hope all your dreams and goals get fulfilled from NEET 2023 and make your parents and teachers proud. Thank you.